I'm gonna tell you right now, I am not happy we are making this video. I don't think this video is necessary and I am making this video under protest. Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're gonna redo our Instant Pot yogurt in just three simple steps. And none of those steps involve a nut milk bag. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you are new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews and we do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch where we just celebrate our subscribers for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we make unnecessary videos, you'll be alerted to it. Just enjoy some yogurt. I do love yogurt. This yogurt is so delicious. Look how thick it is. It doesn't even come off of the spoon. So easy to make. You will never ever buy yogurt again once you make this. Am I right? You're right. Okay. I love the yogurt. Okay, so a couple of years ago, I think it was a couple of years ago, we made this video right here. It was a high fat version of Instant Pot yogurt. The purpose of that video was to recreate a company's yogurt that we found when we were at KetoCon in 2019 from a company called Peak Yogurt which was almost like a double fat yogurt. And it was delicious. It was truly delicious. And I was very excited that we were able to make this yogurt at home. Yep. We basically have the hardest working Instapot in America ever since we made that because I love it. So we're gonna remake that, but we're going to narrow down the steps because since making that video, we learned how to do this a lot easier. So we're going to make the same yogurt but you can actually vary this several ways. You'll also see we have this video right here, which is a low fat yogurt. It is the same exact steps we're gonna make right now, only that one uses a low fat milk and today is gonna use full fat milk. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, here's what you need. First thing you need is you need an Instant Pot that has a yogurt setting on it, okay? If you don't have an Instant Pot that has a yogurt setting, there are ways about around that, but it comes down to you need to be able to somehow keep your mixture at 110 degrees for a minimum of eight to 12 hours. So if you don't have an Instant Pot that has a yogurt setting, I'm gonna tell you to sell your Instant Pot and go buy an Instant Pot that has a yogurt setting. Once you make it, you're gonna have yogurt all the time. Yeah. But no, you can also do it in a CV. We've done it in sous vide in several vlogs. I'll leave a link for one of those vlogs right over my head, but the Instant Pot is going to be the easiest. So you need an Instant Pot that has a yogurt setting. That's step number one. Then after that, we need two ingredients with an optional third ingredient. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. We need Fair Life Milk. Why are we using Fair Life Milk? Because Fair Life Milk is ultra filtered milk that has 50% less sugar than the milk that you buy normally in the store. So if you look at the carb count of the milks that you buy in a store, just when you go to the store and pick up like regular size milk, it's usually like 12 to 15 carbs per eight ounce glass. This is six carbs. So 50% less sugar. That's why you want to use this. That is gonna result in a very low carb yogurt. Right. Okay, so make sure you're using Fair Life. You can use the other milks, you're gonna get the same result, but you're gonna have a lot more carbs and the better way to do it is going to be let it go for a lot longer. You can buy this stuff everywhere now. Grocery stores, um, Walmart, BJ's, Sam's Club, they all sell Fair Life milk. And again, you can use any, don't use the no fat. You either use the 2% or the whole milk. We were doing 2% for a while. We've gone back to whole milk. It tastes better. It just tastes really It just rich. tastes better and you need the fat. Fat's good for you, okay? The next thing you need is a starter yogurt. Now you can go on Amazon and buy yogurt cultures, 
but they're expensive. They are. You know, and the only reason I would do that is if you were trying to make dairy-free yogurt, so using like coconut milk or coconut cream instead of regular milk. But if you're okay with dairy or even making like a yogurt with coconut cream or coconut milk, but then starting it with a dairy one, that's the way to go because what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the store and you're gonna buy one of these. This is about a dollar to a dollar fifty. The price point is right where I'm comfortable. This is gonna make a bunch of batches or what you do is you make a batch, you freeze some for the next batch or you make a batch and then you eat what's left in this and then you use the batch you're making to make the next batch. We will usually let it go three to four times. So we'll make a batch, use a, a couple of tablespoons of that for the next batch use a couple tablespoons of that for the next batch. We'll go three to four times and then we'll start over again. Because it starts to get like a sour taste yeah. to it. Yeah, the more you do it, the more it gets sour because the cultures change. So those are the two main ingredients, that's all you need. The third ingredient, if you want it really fatty, if you want to duplicate the peak yogurt, is a pint of heavy cream. This is optional. Right. You do not need it. There is no change to the recipe other than use this or don't use this. Are you ready? So ready. Okay, here we go. Cause you know that this is really easy to do, right? How easy is it? It is so easy, even Rachel can do it. Well, Rachel can do it with nut milk bags and now I have none yeah, of those you things. You struggle with the nut milk bags. You ready? Yes. So here's what we're gonna do. In the Instant Pot, if I can open it, we're gonna go ahead and we are going to pour our Fairlife milk in. The whole container. The whole container. Go, 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 go. All of it. Then we're gonna take our Fahe yogurt. And I use Fahe, by the way, because I like the cultures in there. I think it produces the best yogurt, but you can use any store-bought yogurt that has live active cultures. I would do not use the, the, the too good yogurt. None of that stuff really works. Fahe or some of the better quality Greek yogurts, Bulgarian yogurts, all of those, you wanna do that. You're gonna put two nice spoonfuls in. One. It doesn't have to be exact. Two. That's all you need, okay? Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a whisk and you're just gonna mix it up a little bit. Okay, so you've got that all mixed up. Okay. Now, at this point, if you want a really fatty yogurt, you can go ahead and add in your heavy whipping cream. And again, this is completely optional. Do you want fatty or do you want regular? I want fatty. You want fatty. So what we're gonna do, and you can even only add half of this if you want. You don't have to add the whole thing. So we're just gonna add in, Whoop. oop, it splattered everywhere, a pint of heavy whipping cream. So now you're gonna have a really good, delicious, like double fat yogurt. It's gonna be amazing. Okay, give it one more mix. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna put our top on. Put your top on. Trying to do this upside down. Do it backwards. Put it on. Now we're gonna hit the yogurt setting. Show it so everybody can see it. Yogurt. And you're gonna go eight to 12 hours. I got it up to 10 here. Is That's 10 good? That's perfect. Now here's the cool thing is. Do you vent it or no venting? I leave it on venting. Um, the cool thing is, if let's say you have this and it goes off at two in the morning. You don't have to get up. No. When you get up in the morning at eight o'clock, nine o'clock, noon, I don't know. This is not a Tamaguchi. Then at that point, you're gonna to go to the next step, but you don't have to do it right away. Now, we're gonna come back in 10 hours or whenever it happens to be done. So probably tomorrow because it's kind of late already today. Um, and we're gonna show you the next step. But I do wanna say, if you don't have an Instant Pot with, the, with a, a yogurt setting and you wanna do this in a sous vide, you would take the same mixture after you've mixed everything, pour it into some mason jars, leave about that much room, and then cover the mason jars with water in your Instant Pot and set it for 110 degrees for, again, eight to 12 hours. So same settings, except for here you're doing one pot, there you're doing three different mason jars and the pot to mix everything. So we're gonna come back in eight to 12 hours. Okay, so we went through the entire 10 hour cycle, plus probably about another six hours. Good morning. So like we said, uh, when we started this yesterday, when it ends, if you don't get to it, you know, like as soon as it's done with the eight to 12 hours, that's okay. The cultures are gonna continue to work. It's time for the next step. All right. Are you ready for this? Yes. Okay, so all we need to do is get out our yogurt and we're gonna see, if you put this off to the side, there's our yogurt. Looks like yogurt already. And yeah, this is already yogurt. So 
if you look at this, you've already got your yogurt in there. You can see a little bit of liquid whey in there. This would be regular yogurt. So we want super thick yogurt. So here comes the part that you are not happy about. Because there's no nut milk bags. So in the previous video that we did, um, we were using like basically nut milk bags. Nut They're milk like bags. straining bags. Yes. It required a lot of extra steps and it was a pain. You had to kind of squeeze out stuff and then you had to find a bowl and put another bowl in. We've got an easier way to do this now and that is a yogurt strainer. I'm gonna leave a link for this down below. There are several different ones. This one sells out on Amazon a lot. Uh, so at the time that we are making this video, this one is sold out. So I'm going to leave a link for another one that also works very, very well. It's just a different shape. None of them are fun to say though. None of them are fun to say, but they work better. Yeah. Okay. So here's all you need to do. You're going to take this and you're going to see it's got a really fine mesh strainer in it. And we're going to just take our yogurt and we're going to dump everything in here. I don't want to make a mess. And I am prone to messes. There's no fruit on the bottom, but there's more yogurt on the bottom. Okay. Now, before you put that away, I want to show you something. If you wanted to make another batch of yogurt right now, you could literally just pour your milk in here. Oh, nice. And go. And you don't even need to put more cultures because there is enough yogurt left in here and enough cultures in here to get another batch going. Just go again. You could put a spoon of this stuff in there if you want, but you literally could just put this back in the Instant Pot, start another batch, and you're ready to go. Nice. Okay? So, we've got this here. Here's our yogurt, and all we're gonna do is just kinda scrape that off like that. Now what you're gonna do, you're gonna put your lid on, and you're gonna wait. Okay, so. Waiting's the hardest part. Now, how long do you wait? Until it's the consistency that you want. We generally let it go anywhere between four hours to overnight to three days. It's not gonna hurt you to let it go long. It's not gonna hurt you to pull it out early. If you're straining it and go, I really want some yogurt, right. and you don't have any other batches made, take a couple of spoonfuls out of this. It's yogurt. It's just got a little bit of the way. We're gonna strain off some more of the way, which is some more of the sugars. So, but it is already yogurt. You can eat this right now. Now, as far as letting this strain out more, you can strain it in the refrigerator or, which Rachel doesn't like this part, you can strain it on the counter because you have active cultures. It's not going to get you sick. Right. Okay? This, this is like a bunch of healthy bacteria. Okay. Which is hard to wrap my mind around sometimes. It's like, this is healthy bacteria, but it is true. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in the refrigerator because Rachel doesn't let me do it on the counter. And then we're going to come back in a few hours and show you the final product. Okay. We let this go a little bit longer because yesterday got busy. Yeah. But that's okay. When it comes to the yogurt, you can just let it strain and strain and strain. And worst cases, it gets really thick and you add a little bit of the way back in. You can't do this with everything, but you can leave yogurt alone and it'll be fine by itself. It's really hard to screw this up. Okay, so this is what you've got left. Now here is all of the leftover whey. No way. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna scoop this into a bowl. See how much easier this is than using the nut milk bag? It is easier, it's just not as fun to say. Okay, so what we're gonna do, sometimes you can, we'll just like turn this upside down on a plate, but what we're gonna do is just show you. How thick it is. All you do now is take it out and it's almost like a cream cheese consistency now because we've let it go and let it go and let it go. And again, that is something we were aiming for. If you don't want it this thick, mm -hmm. all you have to do is not strain it as long as we did. Easy. But, and also the extra heavy whipping cream in this really, really makes it thick. Amps it. So I will come back and get whatever's left in this. Every single little nook and cranny. But for the sake of the video, we're gonna, we're gonna come back to that. We're gonna call it good. Okay. So. The yogurt is done. Now, again, if you don't want it this thick, 
which we do. Right. Uh, what you do is you take a little bit of this liquid whey and you can kind of mix it back in or stop straining it earlier than we did. Uh, but this liquid whey, which we actually feed to our chickens and to Tabitha, uh, that's where a lot of the carbs are. So this is going to be very low carb. And I'm not going to get into the calculation on it here in the video because it's going to make the video longer. There's a detailed explanation in the recipe card that is linked down below. But basically what you want to do is measure out like how much whey did we get? Uh, because the liquid whey has about 12 carbs per cup. And so we pulled out about two and a half cups of liquid whey. Right. So you would basically just take all of the carbs that was in the original milk and the heavy whipping cream, add that up, and then subtract what we just took out here, which is what, 20, 30 carbs. So that's all you would really need to do. It's not an exact science, but it gives you an estimate. Uh, and also there's no way of accounting for how many of the carbs did the actual yogurt cultures like, you know, eat up. Are you ready? How many angels can dance on the head of a pen? So to give you an idea of how thick this is, there you go. Look at that. Boom. Okay. Got a little lay over here. That's pretty awesome. Dink. Dink. It's so good. It works great as sour cream. It works great in places, even for like cream cheese, mm -hmm. we will use it. It is just so stinking delicious, or it's good on its own, but I like the taste of thick, really like Greek yogurt. We have not made it using the heavy whipping cream in a long time, mm -hmm. and I forgot how good this is. Crazy good, because I fat is, good is fat's flavor. Mm -hmm. There's like almost zero tang. Yeah. Like, I don't like really tangy yogurt. Me neither. I also don't like plain yogurt, but I like this yogurt plain. Like, it's almost got a natural sweetness to it mm -hmm. that makes it really, really good. It's so, really awesome. So, like I said, we've had this video for a long time. We've had this recipe for a long time. All we're doing is remaking the video to show it simpler right. without using nut milk, nut milk bags. bags. I and love you, nut milk bags. Also, to just clarify, you don't need to use the heavy whipping cream. No. That's, that just makes it fattier and more delicious. But, yeah. But makes it fattier and thicker and creamier and all of that stuff. Let us know down in the comments section if you make this. Uh, now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos we have linked right over here. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video that I'm going to put right over there. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to Until it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.